today we will discuss the aggregate functions so five aggregate functions are there max mean sum average and count okay few count we have done one one or two commands okay but we will see other commands also first let us go inside the database all right so i've ensured the password out here so and we will be entering inside the um uh, this thing what you call uh, the database okay so the sql prompt has come so i'm maximizing the screen and then i'm going inside the uh, what you call uh, database so use um, what should we write that is the first command to be given that is the use database okay all right without use we cannot do anything all right so use and then database name of the database is master all right use master okay so database has been changed okay see the tables okay show tables okay fine so the tables will be displayed whatever tables we do have in the system that will be displayed then we will apply those commands okay and that is the thing so uh, this uh, particular table is there now we will uh, see the table select uh, star uh, from student okay to display all the records from the table okay these are the records we have inserted we can insert some more uh, record out here how I insert into student name uh, insert into table name is student values all right values then we will give one two four four has been given one to six is the SID number then say Ajay Anand, Ajay Anand, Ajay Anand. okay then what you call address then we will give here Siliguri Siliguri and then uh, what you call gender gender is a male hmm. then date of birth is 2002-03-14 okay 14 march 2002 then marks has got 89 he has got and then actually then we have already given we'll just give now here uh, 69 all right fine now next is uh, the blood group blood group is say a b positive and then for mark we will give the fees as 3200 all right so these are the data so you have to count also that how many records are there how many tuples are there one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight fields are there and onto which every time this count should match one two three four five six seven eight yes all are matching now pressing enter so one data has been inserted now one more data i'm entering out here so i'm just changing this one since this is a primary key out here okay so what you call uh, So now on the thing is that uh, just removing this one and then uh, pressing uh, the this thing what you call uh, insert and then entering all right say 564 okay comma okay Rita Nayar Nayar and then comma and then we are using <coughs> address we are entering and uh, and then we are entering uh, the gender as female f and then date of birth is 2003-08-1212 and then so here actually the error has occurred so here we should give a uh, remove this one so the um, uh, record will be fine okay now what is happening here we are giving 56 out here blood group is a b positive and then comma and then we are giving the fees as 2 times 00, 0 and then pressing enter Okay, semicolon so one two three four five six seven eight so eight uh, fields are there all the fields that are there so you're entering this one okay so the thing is that this particular records two more records we have inserted let's see performing select star uh, from uh, select star from student okay select star from student so these records are there there are eight records are there all together in this particular uh, this thing what uh, in this particular table fine so now we will apply one by one select the maximum fees those who are having okay uh, select select max okay fees okay from uh, max fees from student okay select max fees from student so if you're entering then it will show you the maximum fees out here it is 4500 all right so it will show you the maximum fees okay similarly if you are inputting the mean okay the minimum fees uh, list fees 
that has been paid by the student can be displayed okay here we can use one alias as okay minimum fee, uh, list fees okay list fees okay from uh, student okay so we are given in the double quotes right then we are given the list fees. this is as has been used as alias okay along with the select command okay so the thing is that whenever you are entering this particular thing whenever you are entering this uh, list fees or all see if it is a single word don't need to give any double quotes or single quote or you may give it in this way also you can give the single quote also to see the three possible ways how to give the alias out here okay suppose say you are giving like this so you can just remove it uh, like this and can give it in this way also okay and then same same result will appear and you can remove the as also from here the same result will appear okay and uh, what else that we can do is the alias can be given in several ways okay suppose say i am and not giving anything i'm just giving a single word uh, just uh, like this we don't need to give any quotes and all first i'm writing it having a minimum okay minimum okay single word okay nothing else all right so you see the usage of alias with hello with any uh, any uh, any query okay that the same thing same thing is appearing out here you can see the list piece list piece so there are four different ways first of all as double quotes then as single quote then no as and single quote then nothing then it proves that whenever you are using uh, the uh, single a uh, single word then only to give any single quote or double quote and as is not mandatory okay fine so this was one aspect of the sql query that we have seen just now so i have come to the um, come back once again the max mean we have seen now we will see the sum okay so uh, what we will do uh, select um, uh, select sum uh, select sum uh, salary okay select sum salary okay uh, yeah sorry sum fees i mean fees okay fees we will uh, not give anything out here from student okay so it will just add it up the fees okay so this is the thing that is happening out here okay so this particular uh, this is the this is the thing that is happening out here so what is happening you have given this query to find out the sum of all the uh, sum of the fees of for all the student from um, uh, from student table okay that is the thing so you are coming back so now the thing is that we can see out here you can calculate also you can calculate also select star from student select star from student if you are giving a student and you can see the fees out here this much is the fees okay that is the thing this sum query can be given with a condition also okay that is the thing uh, not only sum anything can be given suppose i want to find out those who are living in siliguri to sum of their salary uh, some of their uh, fees all right so select what i will give select sum then fees fees from student where address address like what siliguri okay siliguri all right so what are the fees siliguri 4500 and 3000 that 7500 must be printed all right so what is happening you see out here so i'm giving out here yes 10700 has been printed all right uh, then uh, siliguri uh, siliguri there are three more are there sorry 3200 is also there so 7500 and 3200 is also summing up and then uh, 10700 has been printed now the thing is that this particular thing if you want to find out the average okay average you can give here avg uh, what can you give you can give your average average fees per student uh, where address like siliguri all right those are living in siliguri so this is actually the this is actually the uh, 10000 uh, divided by divided by um, uh, what you call suppose if i'm running the calculator out here i'll show you uh, this calculation so it will be 10000 divided by uh, what is this uh, 10000 10700 uh, divided by how much divided by 3 all right so what it is coming uh, actually uh, yeah so it is coming 3566 all right so you can see out here 3566 is also is there okay that is the average fees of the 
a student that has been calculated out here okay so this is the average one that you have seen just now okay so in this way you can do in several uh, several things also uh, say calcium okay if i want to um, uh, find out the my average fees of uh, calcium it is like calcium then we can see the uh, calcium also out here calcium is how much 3400 plus 2900 okay so it is the 3150 is the average fees for Kashyan. If you want to see the sum, you have to change it over the sum out here. That is the thing. Uh, you can see out here what is the sum of the fees out here. You can see it is 6300. So in this way, you can use the any kind of fees, any kind of thing and at any point of time. Okay. And that is uh, that, that that's what uh, that's what the thing is happening out here. Okay, let us go back to the once more to display all the data. Okay, these are all the data out here. So I have done with respect to um, uh, this thing. What do you call? Um, that, uh, what do you call? Um, uh, with respect to address. Now, if you want to do the gender, you can give the gender also. Select uh, some fees from student. Uh, all all the male students, how much they? Uh, all the female students, how much they pay the fees? Okay, select some students. Uh, some fees from student where gender gender like. Okay, general like uh, F. Okay, female students, how much they pay? You can sum it up. You can you can see there are three females are there, and then you can see that there are fees out here. One is four thousand five hundred, three four two one, and two nine zero zero. Then if you are pressing enter, it is showing you one zero eight two one. Ten thousand eight hundred twenty one is the amount of fees paid by the all uh, female students. Okay, in this way you can use um you, you can use anything out there. Suppose if you want to find out those who had got the marks between 50 and 60, okay, 50 and 60, uh, how much fees they have paid, okay. And let's see now from student, okay, where, okay, where marks, okay, you just give marks between, where marks between, between uh, 50 and 60. So 50 and 60, there are two values available. That is uh, 56 and 56. Uh, 356 are there. You can see out here 4,500, 3,000, and 2,900. Okay, so any of the things can be given. Okay, suppose that this one you are given. That is give showing you 10,400 because that is within three values are there. 4,000 is 7,500, and 7,500 and 2,900 is coming. 10,400 if you calculate okay so similarly you can give the max fees also out here if you want to see the max fees between those age, age group that is also possible you can give that this is the 4,500 is the maximum within this particular age group and if you want to print the minimum okay minimum fees paid by the this thing then you can give your minimum okay so that is the thing out here so it is showing you the minimum fees paid by the students those who are within the age group 50 and 40 all right that is the thing so this particular queries are very very important that's why so i'm showing you okay so the average also you have seen now let us come back to the count so how we can we can use the count uh, function also in order to um, uh, display say for example how how many records are there in this particular uh, table so select count star that's the command select count star from how much uh, from student all right from student so it will show you how many records are there it contains eight records now say if i want to use the distinct uh, command out here to so select suppose distinct all the duplicate that this is i don't want uh, select uh, count okay select count okay mm, uh, distinct sorry uh, count uh, count then distinct distinct uh, address address okay uh, from student okay it will not show any duplicate data that is the function of the distinct command all right and uh, so it will show you delhi siliguri kalimpong and kashyan all right so you see it is counting how many four so it is quite rightly it has been um, uh, calculated and it has been shown to you all right so um, here the uh, one thing is the from student if i'm going um suppose I select count address okay select count address okay from student from student okay where and where address address like okay uh, your delhi okay d e l h i delhi you cannot give it in uh, capital letter as the delhi in my database in my table it has been shown in this format only otherwise it will not match then the correct record correct the result you won't get okay so that's the things uh, address i think the three s is there address 
sorry uh, there is a mistake out here okay this one you have to remove one three a seven card over here so now you see there are how many records are there? how many are there from delhi there are uh, two records are there from delhi so it has been counting two over there okay suppose similarly if you want to count the blood group okay so you can give your bld huh bld like how many people are there uh, having the a plus blood group okay where bld like you have given the uh, say um, uh, a negative a plus okay a plus okay that a plus um, how many are there okay uh, so select count uh, yes uh, you are not address uh, select count address uh, count bld okay count bld comma this one students where bld like a plus okay so it is showing you one so a positive only one is there and if you are giving out here a negative all right so then what is happening so there are two are there okay so you can confirm it from by seeing it uh, from student by doing it so student that is the how many are there a negative one and here it is two and a plus only one is there that's what the thing it is showing so this is what the uh, this is how the this is what the um, uh, count command uh, count statement you can use in this way okay and i've shown you the average also average how to find out that is also there so these are the more or less uh, the aggregate commands okay one important command uh, i'm showing you sometimes it requires okay uh, select suppose uh, this is a little bit mathematics okay select 22 by 7 okay this is the value of pi as uh, so you can say pi all right semicolon okay so it will show you the value of pi in this way pi 3.1429 so this is the thing actually that is happening out here okay so the structured query language these particular comments are very very important you know that i have shown to you okay and the key attributes and all uh, you can see by using the description and the table name you can give out here description student is showing you the addresses and all uh, okay that is the thing so and the thing is that if i am creating a table these things uh, another table by using these constraints you can use also we can keep this default value as null null means you can keep it uh, null also okay so i'm giving a, a command insert into a student student insert into student values okay insert into student values say 234 comma you can kept the uh, okay you can <coughs> keep the mira sorry mira <coughs> mira roy okay you can keep it mira roy you can uh, keep it as uh, delhi uh, you can keep it as delhi delhi suppose you have kept this gender as f okay and dob you, you have kept suppose null okay and then okay uh, you have kept say max is 78 okay and back group you have kept say again null okay and then uh, say uh, what else uh, fees is suppose 4320 all right 4320 so you see the thing is that 234 key is for primary key so it has not been accepted now we have to change it over there we have to give any some other value out there okay some other value say 342 suppose i have given i'm pressing enter it has been inserted now what is happening two records i am kept here and null so if you are selecting and then uh, doing the things and all okay so what what, what you can see uh if what you can see here the rec sorry i'm not i'm not entering i'm um, excuse me this one i'm not entering i have to display the all the records from there so the select star from student all right student okay you see here the null value has been inserted could you see here the null value has been inserted all right so the thing is that now this null value has to be updated this is the way to insert the null value okay then uh, i i can show you let me select a star from a student okay where a dob is null okay null means you cannot give equals to dob equals to null you cannot give you have to give in this way so that their particular record has been showing to you and if you are giving is not null in that case what has been shown the null value has been removed from your 342 is not at all over there so the null value is not null is for just to restrict the null value to from display now you have to update it update 
ओके व्हाट स्टूडेंट हियर द मल्टीपल कॉलम्स आर ऑकर्स सेट व्हाट डीओबी हां सेट डीओबी इक्वल्स टू सी वांट टू गिव 2003 हाइफन 04 हाइफन 15 15th April 2003 DOB equals to this uh, and then uh, you have to give uh, what else you have to give you have to uh, keep here uh, null what is the thing date of birth is null and the blood group is also null and BLD equals to say you have taken uh, A positive all right A positive okay where where uh, what is the niche mirror is having the this thing 342 okay where sid equals to 342 and then semicolon okay so we are updating the multiple columns out a single column no need to give comma and all so and if you want to give multiple columns suppose one more column is having certain value you want to change in that case you can give you see at the comma separator uh, in between the fields and all all right so you're pressing enter out here so what does it come update students said you be it has been changed now let us uh, confirm it by using the select command, select star commas, yes. 342 Mira Roy, Delhi, and it has been changed to 2015 um, April 2003. Blood group is a positive, rest of the data are intact. All right, so in this way, the multiple columns can be updated. Okay, so why I am just uh, repeating this command so to give you a very good uh, player into practical. Understood? So that is the thing. So this particular record their data you can keep and you can uh, you can also uh, apply more queries over here in order to understand this purpose uh, purpose of this aggregate command so today we have done few aggregate commands okay not few aggregate command uh, these are the aggregate functions so that actually had given you uh, what uh, many uh, many commands suppose that this kind of commands we have given out here which has been given the count okay so the main purpose of the aggregate uh, function that um, this uh, particular when you apply query on a group of records other than the entire table. So these functions always return a single value. Okay, return is a single value. As a result, these are known as uh, aggregate function. So here basically max, mean, sum, average, count. These particular uh, comments are falling. Okay, that the demo I had done the demonstration. Now you do the practical of this particular commands okay so next we will come back to the some more comments till then you please go through this particular practical activities and do it on yours all right thank you